So here we have a second order ordinary differential equation that is linear and has constant coefficients and we're asked to solve. So here we want to find the unknown function that satisfies this particular differential equation. So how do we do it? Well, first of all some notation Let's assume that the independent variable is, is x. Well, the basic idea with these simple problems with constant coefficients, well, we essentially break the analysis down to the analysis of the roots of a quadratic. So, for that, we need the so-called characteristic equation. Okay, so a characteristic equation for this one, it's of the following form. Okay, so notice the, co the relationship between the coefficients of my quadratic and the coefficients in my ODE. Okay, they're the same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to solve this. Now see the left hand side is just a perfect square. So we can rewrite in the following form. So we're going to have a double root or a repeated root. Lambda equals 2. Alright, so let's analyse our roots. We have repeated roots and they're both real numbers. So they're real and equal. And we analyze our roots because depending on whether they're real and equal, real and unequal, complex, then the final form of the solution will take on various forms. Okay? So when we have real and equal, our solution is of the following form. Now, our solution involves exponential functions. But notice here I'm multiplying by x, but not here. It doesn't matter where you have the x. The big A and the big B are just arbitrary constants. Okay, we're not sure what they are. Alright, so our solution will be of this form. Now, where does this characteristic equation come from? It seems a bit strange to reduce the analysis of an ODE down to the roots of a quadratic. Well, if we assume that our solution is of exponential form, when you differentiate it once, twice, and sub it in here, it will actually lead to a quadratic like this. Now, a very important thing to note here is that you must analyse what kind of roots you have. Are they real and equal? Are they real and unequal? Or are they complex? Each uh, different situation has a different solution. 